Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with a new video for you all and I'm super excited for it because this is going to be my tattoo and piercings Q&A and I'm so stupid. I'm not wearing a short sleeve shirt. I'm wearing a sweater and you can't see my tattoos, but I will show you them if you've not seen them before. So yeah, I'm just going to go right to the questions because I sometimes like to ramble so I don't want to like bore you guys and I'll just go ahead and answer the questions that you asked. So, question number one is by Unicorn123. Do you like the tattoos you got and are you planning to get more? If so, what would you get? I love my tattoos. I love them so, so much. I, I love them. I don't know. I just, I don't really think about them that much anymore though because it's currently winter time, obviously. If you, um, it's cold where I live. I live in Connecticut, so it's freezing here. We've been having snow on snow on snow. So, it's really cold here, so I've been wearing, like, long sleeve shirts and, like, sweaters and stuff. So, I haven't been seeing them, so I don't really think about them much often. But, um, I do, I do love them very much, and I don't regret them at all. And I am planning to get more. Um, I'm planning to get more eventually as I'm, like, when I grow up. Because right now, I'm only 17. I don't want to regret them. I don't want to, like, tat up my whole body and, like, then when I'm, like, 30 and be like what the heck did I do like I'm gonna wait and slowly do it but I am planning to get one for my 18th birthday and basically just a few of my friends know what it is so I'm not gonna announce it because I like I like uh, surprises so yeah my phone keeps locking um she also asked did any of your tattoos hurt when you got them um yeah obviously it's a needle like scratching your skin it hurt but it, it didn't hurt that bad it was like on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst pain, um, it was probably like, I would say like a 4, but like a 4 for, well, for like this one, if, these are the tattoos, I have a flower on the bend of my elbow here, and I have, um, prove them wrong written here, um, this one did not hurt, this one was just, I already knew what the pain was going to be like, this was my second one, and this was my first one, so, this one did hurt, but it was like a 5. This took about 2 hours, I, I think. I don't remember exactly. 2 or 3 hours. It was like a 5 for like 3 hours, you know? So, it was like, it was fine. It didn't really hurt that that bad. I was fine. I was fine with it. Um, I stared at it the whole time. It wasn't really uncomfortable. It hurt more to get it touched up because, like, over heel, like, cutting through scar tissue was, like, much more painful. It was probably like a 7 for... Just a couple minutes, so it didn't take that much longer. I mean, it didn't take that long. Carly Ray asks, what has, what has been the hardest thing about having a tattoo in society's eyes? I personally have had people tell me they think tattoos are sinful, and they ask me what I am teaching my future children by destroying body, my body with ink. Well, I say, F society. Um, I don't, I think tattoos are an expression of yourself and I think they're completely fine and I think that they I've met more people with tattoos that are a thousand million times better people than people who go to church and I go to church sometimes my parents believe in church stuff and I personally don't I'm, I don't want to start a, like a controversy but I personally just don't believe in that kind of stuff um, I think you can believe whatever you want, and if you think tattoos are bad, don't get a tattoo, but, um, so you might be doing something that someone else thinks isn't right, and you shouldn't do it, do you, but you do it anyway, so why shouldn't I get a tattoo if, like, a group of people doesn't do, don't think it's right? Like, I don't, like, who are they to judge me, you know? Like, who, who is anyone to judge someone else? Like, I'm, like, everyone does it, it's like obvious like everyone's gonna do it but like seriously who cares you know it's not their life so they shouldn't worry about it I really don't care what people think like I have a job with tattoos and with gauges and nose ring and like piercings so I really don't think that it really matters what people think I think they're just an, a way of expression same with like hair color and clothing they're just, you're just expressing yourself. I don't see why you have to be, like, punished for it or, like, looked down on for it. 
Um, do you feel like having to cover up slash not getting hired because of tattoos and piercings is considered a hate crime? Yes! Yes, I do! I actually read that question, but I didn't understand it, and then I read it now, and I totally get it, and I'm totally on board with you if you think that. I don't know if you think that. Um, I do think it's a hate crime because I think it is just an expression of your personality, and if you don't like something, like, what I don't like when people wear, like, button-up shirts, like, all the way up to here, but people still do it, and, like, if I was a manager, I'm not gonna not hire someone just because they wear button-up shirts up to, like, buttoned up to here if they're girls. Like, you do you. Like, who cares? You're human. I'm human. Let's be civil, you know? I don't really think it matters. Um what you have on your body and how you like to represent yourself because at the end of the day that's who you are why should you not be who you are if you like tattoos then you should be able to get a job and have tattoos what how you represent yourself 99 percent of the time has nothing to do with how you are as a person there could be someone super mean that dresses like a stereotypical nice person like it has nothing to do with my personality and I should not be um, looked differently because I have a nose ring or because I have tattoos and I'm only 17 like you people have no right to like tell me I'm something because I have a tattoo you know I don't think I do okay end of the story I believe it's a hate crime that's what I, I agree that uh, I think it's a hate crime because it is honestly it's it's wrong. I think it's so wrong and I think it's ridiculous and it makes me so mad. Advice on telling someone who would, who would be disappointed in you for getting a tattoo about your tattoo. Um, well, I don't really have any advice because I don't really care. Because I have, I know a few people that are like technically family to me, um, that are not okay with me having tattoos. They think it's really stupid, but I honestly just don't care. Um, as long as, like, I think your parents are important, if you're close with your parents, if you're not, some people just don't like their parents, and that's totally fine, but, um, I don't know, just, I don't really think it matters. At the end of the day, are you happy with it? If you're happy with it, nothing else should matter. Um, if you don't like it, then I would probably get it removed and never tell them. <laughs> but if you like it, I don't see why it should be a big deal for someone else, you know? I mean, obviously, like, it would be, but I don't think it should be, you know? So I don't really have any advice because I just don't agree with the whole situation. Um, In asks, what is your opinion on industrial piercing? Well, I have it, so I like it. Um, I don't really know where else to go with that. True Beauty 101, on your right arm, how much did your tattoo hurt? Well, um, the camera's, like, flipped, so I don't know if you're talking about, like, this one or this one, because I don't know, because, I mean, I guess you'd ask about this one, because this one's bigger. Um, this one was, like, um, I already explained the pain. It wasn't, it didn't hurt that bad. Um, it was bearable. What's your favorite piercing? That's really hard, actually. I really do like my industrial, but it's kind of infected right now, so that kind of sucks. But I think my belly button ring is probably my all-time favorite. Because I feel like my stomach looks so ugly without it, and it just makes it look like a thousand times prettier, so. Probably my belly ring, which is my most, like, neglected one. Like, I never really, I never really care for it, um. But yeah, I've had that for a really long time. Um, Shell Bay asks, what, oh, that was by McKenna Rogan. Uh, Shell Bay asks, what do you think about a full body tattoo? Um, well, I've seen, like, the one where, like, the guy was just, like, blacked out. I think that's ridiculous. Why would you do that? That, that, why? I don't understand that at all. Um, but, like, a full, like, design. Oh, I think that's so cool. I, I would love that. Um, she also asks, what more tattoos and piercings do you want in the future? Well, tattoos, I have, a, a, like, a list of options that I really want. Um, I really want a tiger on my arm, and I really want a whole sleeve, but I don't know about that yet. Um... Um, and piercings, I don't really want any more piercings, there's none really that appeal to me, maybe the other side of my nose, but I would need it to be perfectly symmetrical in order to have that, and I don't think they'd be able to do that because the post I go to isn't that amazing and I don't have anywhere else to go, plus I don't really want any more piercings. Um, I want some more ear piercings, I would really want my helix pierced on probably this side, but I mean, I don't know, I want my tragus pierced on this side, but um, again, I don't really know. I don't know. 
Um, how long did you wait before you decided for sure you wanted a certain thing for your tattoo? That's by XX Megan XX. Um, I waited a year, basically. Um, I waited a really long time. I just always knew that I wanted a tattoo, but I didn't know what I wanted. But I always knew that I wanted a flower. I At first I wanted a flower just sprouting from my shoulder, but then I, I don't really show my shoulder, so I was like, what's the point of that? I don't see the point of it. Um, I'm eventually going to get something up there, but right now I was like, nah. So I found the picture of this one flower online, which I don't have the picture anymore, and I feel so bad because so many of you want to see it, but I don't know where it went. I can't find it anywhere. I like Googled and tried and everything, but I can't find it. Um, but I found a picture of a flower that was like right here, and I was like, I love that. So I showed it to him, and he drew this out for me to make it like my own, and I love it, and it's so weird that this is going to be on my skin for the rest of my life. <laughs> so, yeah, um... Yenli Lopez, how did you convince your parents to let you get all those piercings? Did your tragus hurt and can you show your grade just without anything in? You look good. You look so good with your tattoos and piercings, by the way. Well, thank you. And, um, I basically, first I got my ears pierced. My parents didn't really care about my gauges. My mom just doesn't want, um, the open hole in it. So I keep, like, actual, like, plugs in. These are, like, the double flared ones right now. If you're wondering, I'm, um... A 9 16th. This is a 9 16th, or this is a 7 16th, but I'm technically a 9 16th because I stretched it bigger to get these in, and then I guess they're shrinking down now. But my se the first hole I got when I was little, my second hole wasn't hard to convince because it's just my second hole. My cartilage I did by myself once, and then I took it out, and then I just got it redone. Um, my tragus and my industrial were probably the hardest piercings to get my mom to say yes to. Like, they were, they were so hard to get my mom to say yes to that. Um, my tragus took about a year to get my mom to say yes. It's just an ear piercing, right? Like, seriously. My belly button, I just asked her one day, and she was like, sure, why not? So I got that, which is crazy, because my ears are, like, more important than my belly button, obviously. Um, my industrial took, like, a really long time, because my mom thought it was super ugly, and she still doesn't really like it, but I like it, so I don't really think it matters. Um, so that took her... Not that long, I think like a couple months to finally convince her. Um, and I don't have any tips, I just was like, please mom, and I would go like this all the time. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. So she finally said yes. And then my nose didn't take a long time, so I had a fake one in. Um, and she was like, oh, it looks kind of good. So I got it, and then, yeah. Those are all my piercings. <laughs> um, and my tragus, yeah, it hurt, but it was just like a normal, like, low, or no, it was more like a cartilage piercing. It didn't hurt that bad. Um, and I'm not going to show my gauges without anything in it because it looks really disgusting and I can't get these out. So, and my fingers will stink after because ears, if you stretch your ears, um, you know that your ears smell like a butthole. So, yeah. That was all the questions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go edit this now and actually first I'm going to take a shower. Um, and I'm going to go edit it. And it will be up soon. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed and have an amazing day. I will see you in my next video. Bye.